Welcome, I'm Brian Hayes. I'm a Salesforce and Pardot consultant with Rotive. We're an official Salesforce partner and we teach small businesses how to automate their processes. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to log in as another user if you're a system administrator in Salesforce. Now, you probably wanna do this because it's really useful. If you're a system administrator and you're trying to set up different permissions, create new applications, new workflows, that sort of thing, you might have a lot of different users within your system and it can be pretty challenging to know who has access to what. In addition, when issues arise, you know, it's not always easy to get screenshots or specific instructions from a user that's having that issue. But if you can log in as them quickly, you can often troubleshoot it yourself and see if you can make a change that's gonna correct that problem. So it really comes in handy if you're responsible for an org. Now in Salesforce here, I'm looking at a list of users and you can see right next to the edit button, we don't have anything here. Now, once we set this up, it'll have a little login link and then you can just log in as one of these users and you can see Salesforce from their point of view and take actions as them within the system. Now it goes without saying, because you can log in as another user, you want to use this feature sparingly. You don't want everybody to be system administrators because then they could all log in as each other. You're gonna have some serious issues when it comes to understanding your audit trail, essentially who did what within the system. But for most people, there's just a few system admins in Salesforce, and this is a great help. So the first thing you might need to do is reach out to Salesforce and submit a case asking them to enable this feature, allowing you to log in as another user. Once they enable the feature for you, you can search for access in the quick find here, and you should see login access policies. If you click on that, you'll now have this setting that says administrators can log in as any user. Go ahead and check that box. If you do not have this checkbox available, you need to submit a case to Salesforce in order for them to make that visible to you. Once you check the box, we can come back to our list of users and you'll see we've got a link next to each of their names. So for any user that you're able to log into, integration users don't count, you'll see this little login icon. So now I can click on this and I am now logged into Salesforce as the Rotive support user. And I can see everything from their point of view, anything that they have access to or don't have access to. If I try to use an automation or something else and I get an error, you can recreate that situation much quicker than going over to their computer and standing behind them while they log in and show you what happened. So this is one of those features that not enough people know about. And I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit the like button and click subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.